we are saying we should make it mandatory. Well, generally speaking, in my own opinion, I don't think that should be. The issue surrounding DNA, um, aside the fact that it helps to test the paternity and maternity of a newborn child, DNA also do other important stuff. I think government have a major role to play in that. They should do a kind of make DNA free or they should subsidize it. I actually feel it's going to help a lot in terms of our current happenings in relationships. The slogan right now is no sex, no relationship. The issue of making DNA test uh, compulsory is to some extent good because you know, due to lack of trust in marriage nowadays, if you don't see everywhere, and then, then you, you maybe you realize that a, a man that has been married to a woman for a very long time, after so many years, now realizing that the children are not his, that is a waste of time, waste of um, resources. It's causing a lot of havoc in marriages and even breaking homes and even tearing apart families. I'm saying it again that it shouldn't be compulsory. It should be open to opinions. It can even be between couples. You can decide that for every birth, we are doing, you know, we are going for DNA tests. That is understandable. That is an agreement. No issues. We shouldn't be injured. Some don't have issues with that. Give that to us as many you want to. I believe you. I trust. Even so, we'll make you understand that even if they were not, you know, it doesn't matter to them. So I don't think it should be a mandatory you know, thing to make or to go for a DNA test after the person. Sure. Thank you very much. If we are all just and if we are all trying to like be truthful to one another, we shouldn't be scared of having to do any DNA test. It's like when you ask me to go and do my blood group test and I know somehow that I'm not AA, I'm SS, but because I've lied, I'll be scared to go to my club. Oh, you know the life we're living in, and everybody just want to eat their cake and have it. It's Saeed, I'll give it pregnant, but you want to give it to Michael, and then you're scared of DNA. So that's the thing about it. But if I all just, I don't think it would be an issue. It should be free and made compulsory. We hear the news every day now. We know what is going on out there. Going on, you, you raise a child from, from bed. To secondary school level or even to the adult stage and you later find out that he's not your child how do you how will you feel at the end of the day you won't feel good now you'll feel bad so i think making it free and making it compulsory will be a nice idea it's a welcome development to make it free it's going to help the guy as well because they feel much connected when it's their offspring now when it is not their offspring it has to be that they know about it now when they know about it they genuinely the love comes out genuinely from their hearts that they want to actually take this one as their child even though it's not their own offspring so i feel it's going to help a lot more of the guys than the female but it's going to help the female to live better and be of free secrecy to in their marriage i don't think it's a good idea the government should make it compulsory because there'll be more debt, there'll be more broken home. It's cause a lot of problems, you know. It's fine, they should make compulsory that child bed. Doing the right thing doesn't necessarily mean I didn't trust you. I feel like at the child bed, like it should be considered like immediately after the child bed. So it will cause the story that touched the arts, you know, later.